Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with Fade. Today we will be reading If I Had a Griffin. It's written by Vicki Vansicle and illustrated by Cale Atkinson. And they are both Canadian author and illustrator. Let's jump right in. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If I Had a Griffin. Last week I got a hamster, my first and only pet. He mostly eats and sleeps and hides and gets his shavings wet. If only I could have a pet with strange exotic powers. I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of posies and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get a starry sheen. Unicorns are pretty, but they're also very shy. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. A hippogriff needs lots to do, like run and jump and fetch. I take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. Though a hippograph is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly curly fur, but then I spend three hours a day attacking snarls and burrs. If I had a griffin, I'd love each flashing feather but she needs flying every day, regardless of the weather. If I had a kraken, we'd swim and deep sea dive, but I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. If I had a dragon with a temperamental snout, I'd need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. Kieran needs a field of grass, at least an ocean-wide. Jackalope needs sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix needs a chimney nest that's smoke and fireproof. Manticore needs a special floss for each and every tooth. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks and Kelpies hate the light. Basilisk is slippery. Chimera likes to scratch. Mermaids brush their hair all day. And sprites are hard to catch. Perhaps a hamster's not so bad. In fact, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine. And that's enough for me. Oh, look what he really transformed into. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time.